Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back at it again for another installation video. And today I'm going to install these twin art by Gold Strike chrome passenger flowboard covers for this new style Honda Goldwing. And these will fit Goldwing's year models 2018 through 2023. Since I've already installed some Gold Strike chrome accessories to the side of the Honda Goldwing, these twin art passenger chrome flowboard covers is gonna enhance the look. So stay tuned to this video and I'm gonna walk you through how to get these twin art by Gold Strike chrome passenger flowboards installed on this new style Honda Goldwing. So let's get started. I would like to take a moment to just thank Gold Strike for sponsoring the Caliente Garage with these chrome flowboard covers for this new style Honda Goldwing. Now, let's open up the package and see what comes in the kit. Let's get these opened up. Have right left and some directions being very careful not to scratch the chrome look at that looks amazing Get these opened up. So it comes with a right and it comes with the left. So just looking at some of the insulation instructions, it also comes with the alcohol pads. So let's get these installed on the Honda Goldwing. It's a good idea to clean the area with soap and water and you wanna make sure that the area is nice and dry. Once it's dry, you can take the alcohol pads that came in the kit and you wanna clean the area real good. I've already cleaned these passenger floorboards with soap and water. You wanna make sure you get off all of the oil, wax, all of the dirt and grime. So clean it with soap and water, let it dry, and then you wanna take, you could take the alcohol that came in the kit and just wipe down that area. You wanna make sure that you get all of the dirt, all of the oil, all of the wax off of this passenger floorboard. Now, this is the winter time. It is cold out. So in this garage right now, it's probably around 65 degrees. I have the heater on, but this is not in, in the, the directions. I'm gonna take my heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer. I'm just gonna put my heat gun on low and I just wanna heat that floorboard up. I don't wanna melt any plastic but I just want to heat it up. This is the winter time. And you want to make sure that the area is clean and that the floorboard is warm. You could take like a razor blade and you want to just start at the corner and peel that backing. Sometimes you'll have people to complain and say that 
that their accessories don't stick. Well, you need to make sure that the area is nice and clean and that is up to room temperature. Be careful how that goes on. I'm gonna hook it across the top first and then bring it to the bottom. Press it on. So now that I have the Chrome passenger flowboard installed, I like to just let the bike sit for at least 24 hours before I take it out on the road. So now let's work on the right side of the Honda Goldwing. I want to make sure that this area is clean. So it's a good idea to take some dishwashing liquid and you want to clean this passenger floorboard. Make sure you got off, off the wax, all of the oil, all of the dirt, all of the debris. Clean that area real good and then you want to let it dry. So I'm going to take the alcohol pad that came in the kit and I'm going to clean this floorboard. Make sure I got all of the dirt, all of the oil, all of the debris. I'm going to take my heat gun. You can use a hair dryer, but a heat gun works better. I'm going to put my setting on low. And I just want to heat up this flow board just to bring it up to room temperature. It is winter time. And if the flow board is cold, then it's subject to come off because it's not going to adhere to the flow board. So take the heat gun and you want to heat up that area. You want to keep that heat gun moving. Being careful with the heat gun, you don't want to melt any of your chrome if you already have chrome on the bike. You want to keep that heat gun moving. I'm going to take a temperature reading. I just want to see how warm the the flow board is you want to make sure that it's above 50 degrees so I'm at 93 degrees so that's plenty of heat so I'm going to take my right flow board just do a dry fit just to make sure that it fits so when I put the flow board on the bike we're gonna start at the top Kind of hang it on and then press it on. Try to grab a corner and not pull up the 3M, but the backing. Okay. So now I can take my chrome passenger flowboard, kind of open it up just a little bit. I'm going to hang it kind of across the top because you don't have any adhes adhesive on the top. So I'm going to hang it on the top. Make sure that I'm getting a good fit. Press it on. And you want to hold the chrome passenger flowboard in place for at least 60 seconds. Stick on. So if you put the chrome pieces on your bike and it has 3M tape, it's a good idea to let that bike sit at least 24 hours before taking the bike out for a ride. Well, I hope this video helped some of you out that was considering installing the Twin Art by Gold Strike chrome passenger flowboard covers for this new style Honda Goldwing. I like the way everything turned out. The installation was very easy 
and the chrome really enhanced the side of the Honda Goldwing. It really flows with the theme of the Gold Strike chrome that I've already installed. If you guys like this video, be sure to click the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I will include in the description of the video quick links to all of the Gold Strike accessories that I've installed on my Honda Goldwing. Share this video, it really helps the channel out. And again, thank you Gold Strike for sponsoring the Kelly and Garage with all of these chrome accessories for this new style Honda Goldwing. And I will talk to you guys later. See you.